Hey everybody, how you doing? This is HUD Zero Mega, formerly known as HUD Zero. I'd like to apologize for having a little hiatus. Um, I've been really busy with work and, of course, uh, daddy duties. Uh, but I'm actually back. I'm trying to put this in a new direction. Uh, but I want to try to make this short and sweet. So on to today's video. Uh, turns out that someone, uh, I'm not sure exactly where he came from, but uh, this is a guy named uh, Jeremy Hillman, uh, Director of Communications at the World Bank Group. Um, he has a son who uh, decided to spend about over $4,500 on digital content on his Xbox before his parents noticed. But but check this out. You know, and this is where I try to, I had to pin this on uh, parental responsibility. Um, he actually explained. He said while checking on his credit card bill that he spotted four charges of about $109 each from uh, from Microsoft in just two days. Now he thought that uh, it was dealing with his Office 365 subscription. But he also noticed that it was multiple times on his credit card statement. And um, and he, he said, and I quote, With horror, I started scrolling through pages of charges, 109, 109, 109, sometimes two a day. More than $4,500 of charges for virtual FIFA players going back several months. Now, I don't know about you, but this is, it, it tells me that this guy has not been checking his credit card statements well too, uh, too often. I mean, for several months... Did he just happen to check it out that month because he was unsure? It makes no apparent sense. Now, he says that, you know, he, he claims that he spoke to Microsoft and he says that it's responsibility Microsoft because he actually went into a live chat and he was assured that he was going to be contacted within three days. And, of course, he says that never happened. Uh, then he said that uh, he, he put someone else a, uh, a week later, and then uh, this is what he this is what it quoted. Okay, he says our policy stated states that all purchases are final and non-refundable. A purchase confirm confirmation email was sent to email blah blah blah, and of course this is the son's email. Um, each time a purchase was made because that is the email that was designated as the contact email on the billing profile. You are responsible for any material that a, u that a user of your services account ad accesses or is denied access to, including as a result of your, you of your use or non-use of parental controls. You acknowledge that use of our settings is not a substitute for your personal uh, supervision of minors that use your services account. You know what? Isn't that cut and dry? It makes perfect sense. Parents, you know, if you have kids, you should be responsible about, you should be responsible for what's been purchased on the, hey listen, it has your credit card information for goodness sake on your, on the, on the thing. You should know what your sons or daughters have purchased on there and you, have, you should take responsibility and you should pay attention to what's going on. I don't know. What do you think? Do you think that, you know, Microsoft should be paying any attention to this? I mean, this is completely ridiculous. All right. But anyway, that's what I had to say about that. Uh, so why don't you go ahead and subscribe and comment and also rate. And thanks for watching.